I've got quite the parcel here today. So what I'm going to do is take this into my kitchen and open it up. I have a pretty good idea what it is. But, let's do it. Okay, we're set up now. And did a nice job packaging this up. I don't believe it is grow lights, although I did purchase something like that recently myself. That's not what I was expecting anyway. Well, the easy way would be just to slice that open there. There she is. Woohoo! I don't know if you meant, if you recall that I mentioned that I was looking for a cast iron waffle iron and that they're just so few and far between in Canada. Very difficult to find. And one of my subscribers very kindly said, I have one if you want it. We had a few conversations, and yes, she sent me the cast iron waffle iron. It's got an unusual hitch compared to the ones I've seen, but it does seem to be complete and intact. Very nice. And it also has the base. Now yes, this has got a light surface rust coating on it. I think that goes this way. Yes it does. Very nice. Looks like I've got my got my work ahead of me. Oh this is perfect. And it is from what I could tell, has no manufacturer's markings, so I have no idea who made this, although something may turn up when I clean it, it's hard to say. Anyway, this looks like it's going to get <laughs> a vinegar bath and I will do a complete video. Oh yes, I'm more than pleased. I was a little bit uh, unsure, you know, pictures don't always tell you the full story, but it is in great shape, and I'm very happy with it. So, oh, and it's got a number eight here on the handle, so I, that denotes the size, I'm sure. Oh, this is going to be an amazing project for me. Another one from my collection, and it's not in bad shape. It does have surface rust, but it is not in bad shape at all. And I did want one with the spiral handles as well. So, very, very nice. See, a very unusual hitch. Most of them are not like that, where it fits in the center. Most of them are just uh, two-piece hitch as opposed to a three. Perfect. And yes, you still lift it up and turn it around. How so very awesome and generous of this lady. I have to, uh, hopefully she will see the videos that I make. Okay, I'll uh, have to give this a nice vinegar bath and then we will be doing a lot of scrubbing. Okay, I have added vinegar 
and water to the sink and I have soaked this uh, <laughs> waffle iron actually not for terribly long at all I don't think it's been in there half an hour and then I took a scrubby to it I'm gonna take my bracelet off um, vinegar is corrosive and I've already noticed that it's the surface rust as you can see by the color of the water is already coming off that's what vinegar is good for is removing rust off cast iron Okay, and I think I want to put on a pair of gloves. My hands are in water far, far too often. And it is definitely an unmarked piece. I have not been able to find any markings at all. But I am scrubbing this rust away and it's coming off quite easily. It's definitely just surface rust here. And yes, it's going to take a little bit of elbow grease to get this nice, but nothing wrong with a little bit of elbow grease. And the only marking on it at all, I don't know if you can see that, is I don't want it to drip all over the place. Yeah, the only marking on it at all is a number eight on the handle. So that's the only markings I could find so far. some of this off and then I'm going to let it sit in the vinegar water for a little longer. Just wanted to see how easily it came off.
Okay, this is going to go in the oven now. Actually, I've got, I see a little bit of rust again there. And it will rust up quickly when you, as soon as it's wet. So it's going in the oven right now just to dry it off and then we will um, give it its first coating. Now to put my gloves back on and scrub these guys a little more. soap again here. Put this one out of the way to keep it good. Once again, dry off as much of the water as I can. Of course, those little crevices are going to hold water, so that's going to have to go in the oven upside down pretty much immediately. Cool. And this is warm, so I have to be careful how I handle it. Okay, so what we're doing then is we are seasoning the cast iron by giving it a good coat of Crisco. And we do this three times and it turns out to be a nice black coating and well seasoned. And then it will be ready for use. So we wipe it on and then we wipe off as much as we can. You don't want it to puddle. You just want to put a very thin coat and on the handle as well. And that will prevent it from rusting as well. Okay, so this one's ready to go back in the oven. But the oven's just preheating again because I we went out and I turned it off, so I've just got it heating up enough to be able to apply some grease to these and have it melt. The hard part here though is cleaning out a lot of the oils from the center. the handle as well. Okay. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Again, we wipe away as much as we can. And this is where it's hardest. because we don't want it to be baked on here in puddles. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, once again, wipe off. I know it seems counterintuitive, but you, you really only want a thin, a thin layer of this on here. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off as well as I can, and then I'm going to bake it for an hour. And we do that three times at a minimum. Okay, ready to be baked. And we'll get back to you later. Okay, so cleaning this is one thing and using it is another. It fits on the rings of my stove very well. I've got the um, irons heating up. I'm going to heat up both sides. And of course the trick with anything is, and especially something like this, I know I've made a lot of waffles and pizzellis, and the trick is to make sure that that is well greased so that it doesn't stick because that's a nightmare to clean. Okay, so okay, I have mixed up a double batch of batter and now of course I have to put a fair amount of butter on this pan before I start. do that on both sides. And hopefully the first one will not stick. And I don't know how much batter to use, so I'm going to be a little bit sparingly here. Okay, I do have the one side all nice and toasty, and I've turned it over. Okay, well I'm ready to take this out. Looks like I didn't go overboard with the batter. And see how nicely it came out? Simply because it was greased well. Okay. Now, okay, so I have sprinkled some icing sugar. And unfortunately I don't have any real maple syrup. So it's going to have to be... What my grandchildren wanted. What do they know? Okay, here we go. Taste test. Oh, it's nice and crispy. Oh, yes. Oh yes, very nice. Mm. Well, that's my breakfast this morning. And if I want to make this just a bit fluffier, I'll add a bit more of baking soda. I kind of just throw my mix together. But yeah, it makes a nice crispy waffle. And as I said, the big trick is to keep it 
boiled, buttered, so nothing sticks. Okay, well that's my attempt to make waffles with a, an old-fashioned waffle iron. I'm going to turn this off now and go and have breakfast.